हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एनजीटी नेशनल ग्रीन ट्रिब्यूनल द रेलिवेंस ऑफ दिस टॉपिक विद रिगार्ड टू आर बी आई ग्रेड बी विल बी इन फेज टू पेपर टू इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज अंडर सस्टेनेबल डेवेलपमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंटल इशूज विद रिगार्ड टू नबार्ड ग्रेड ए एंड ग्रेड बी विल बी इन फेज वन इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज फेज टू पेपर टू इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज अंडर सस्टेनेबल डेवेलपमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंटल इशूज वॉट इज द ओरिजिन ऑफ आइडिया ऑफ एस्टैब्लिशिंग एनवायरमेंटल कोर्ट्स इन इंडिया एज पर द आर्टिकल फोर्टी एट ए ऑफ डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ स्टेट प्लीज नोट द वर्ड स्टेट टू प्रोटेक्ट द एंड इम्प्रूव द एनवायरमेंट एंड सेफ गार्ड द फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड बिस्टो अपॉन द सिटीजन द ड्यूटी टू प्रोटेक्ट द एनवायरमेंट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया डजेंट फोकस मच ऑन द एनवायरमेंटल इशूज but the main focus was to overcome the basic problem of poverty illiteracy unemployment etc more and more industries were set up in india in order to overcome the above mentioned problems which led to degradation of environment at a large scale it is the supreme court of india that suggests the establishment of environmental courts with professional judges and two experts high courts were not able to dispose the environmental related cases quickly as they were overburdened supreme court further emphasized the need for speedy justice for re- cases relating to environmental protection and due to this dire need ngt was established what exactly national green tribunal is NGT was established on 18th October 2010 under National Green Tribunal Act 2010 It's very important to know the date and act under which NGT was established The objective of NGT is effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection and conservation of forests and other natural resources Apart from this it also adjudicates on matters relating to harm to people or property due to neglect of environment obligations of infrastructure projects and further includes enforcement of any legal right relating to environment now question comes what exactly is the difference between a court and a tribunal according to supreme court every court may be a tribunal but every tribunal necessarily may not be a court but this is a very important line for example high court has a wide range in powers covering all enacted laws but on the other hand ngt has only been vested with powers under the seven laws related to the environment which are explained in later slides this is a very important slide describing the composition of ngt ngt consists of minimum 10 members and maximum 20 members the members comprises of mix of both judges and expert members on environmental issues in case of tie against and in favor of decision chairperson of tribunal will decide and break the deadlock each bench of tribunal must consist of minimum of two members that is one expert member and one judicial member very important point to note again this is a very important slide to become a chairperson of tribunal person should have been a supreme court judge or chief justice of high court to become a judicial member of tribunal person should have been a judge of high court to become an expert member of tribunal person shall possess a degree of master of sciences with a doctorate degree or masters of technology or masters of engineering having 15 years of experience in that field with a 5 year of experience in fields of environment and forests what is the structure of ngt according to national green tribunal act 2010 new delhi is chosen as the principal bench of ngt with four other regional benches in pune that is western zone bench 
भोपाल दैट इज सेंट्रल जोन बेंच चेन्नई दैट इज सदर्न जोन बेंच एंड कोलकाता दैट इज ईस्टर्न जोन बेंच येट एन अदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू रिमेम्बर Each bench has specified geographical jurisdiction covering several states in a region. Here an important thing to note is that each bench has jurisdiction not only to the state it is situated but to the other states also. Mechanism of circuit bench also exists. For example, bench situated in Bhopal can decide to have sitting in other places also. like jaipur and gwalior how to file an application or appeal before ngt ngt follows very simple procedure for filing an appeal against the decision of government the official language of ngt is english rupees 1000 is to be paid for filing an appeal before ngt where no compensation is to be paid and where compensation is to be claimed fee will be 1% of total amount of compensation subject to a minimum of rupees 1000 very important point suit can be filed before ngt within a period of 5 years from date on which cause for compensation arose it can be extended for maximum of 60 days if tribunal has sufficient grounds that person has reasonable cause for not filing the suit earlier Yet another important slide stating the principle of justice adopted by NGT. NGT is not bound by the procedure laid down under Code of Civil Procedure 1908, as well as not bound by the rules of evidences in Indian Evidence Act 1872, but guided by the principle of natural justice. Very important point that NGT is guided by the principle of natural justice. Natural justice is identified by two constituents of fair hearing. First is the rule against bias that is no man is judge in his own cause and second is the right to fair hearing that is hear the other side also. Due to this it becomes relatively easier to present facts and issues before NGT as opposed to approaching a court. This is the most most important slide. Violations pertaining to below mentioned civil laws can only be challenged before the NGT. That is, NGT is vested with powers to hear any matter only relating to below mentioned civil laws. I repeat, below mentioned civil laws. These civil laws are the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, nineteen seventy four. The Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Cess Act 1977 third the Forest Conservation Act 1980 fourth the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981 fifth the Environment Protection Act 1986 sixth the Public Liability Insurance Act 1991 seventh the Biological Diversity Act 2002 Violations relating to laws like Wildlife Protection Act 1972, the Indian Forest Act 1927, etc., can be challenged before NGT. For this, one has to approach the Supreme Court or State High Court through a writ petition or file a suit before an appropriate civil judge where the project is located. Very important to note that PIL can be filed only at the place. where the project is located not at other places what is the provision of penalty as per ngt a person doesn't need to be an advocate and can argue his own matter before the tribunal only requirement is that the argument should be presented in english and the person arguing should be in formal dress the tribunal should decide the case within 6 months of filing the application or appeal very important point to note if a person doesn't comply with the order of ngt he can be imprisoned for 3 years or fine extended to 10 crores or both further continued failure to comply with the direction of ngt will attract fine of 25000 per day 
Under the Rule 22 of NGT Rules, review can be made against the decision of NGT. If this fails, a NGT order can be challenged before Supreme Court within 90 days. Very important to know that it can be challenged only before Supreme Court and within 90 days only. What are the problems faced by NGT? NGT lacks judicial independence from government because bureaucrats can be appointed to tribunal while holding their post in government. So a government official will never rule against the government. Second, NGT is funded by Ministry of Environment and Forest. Hence, it exercises control over tribunal and its decisions. Third, third issue is lack of funding for proper functioning of NGT. Fourth, NGT has only five benches in India. That is New Delhi, Pune, Bhopal, Chennai and Kolkata. So common citizen has to face difficulty to approach a court which is in different state and far from their home. Fifth, NGT took away the right of civil courts regarding environment issues as these cases can be filed only before the NGT. Efforts should be made to establish environment tribunals on district basis so that common men can make maximum use of it. What's in news about NGT? As explained earlier, each bench of NGT should consist of minimum two members, that is, one judicial member and one expert member. Ministry of Environment and Forest amended Rule 5 of National Green Tribunal Rules 2011, stating that chairperson may constitute a single member bench in exceptional circumstances. This has been done to address festering problem of vacancies in NGT. However, it has no defined what exactly exceptional circumstances are. Now, a single member bench can accept applications and begin this procedure to appraise a case. Efforts should be made by the government to fill up the vacancies rather than reduce the bench to a single member. Let's do the MCQs. First, the Constitution of India mentions that it is the duty of the state to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forests and wildlife of the country and bestow upon the citizens the duty to protect the environment through which of the following provisions. A. Fundamental rights. B. Directive principle of the state policy. C. Fundamental duties or D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Directive principles of state policy. Second, which of the following suggested that there should be environmental courts in India? A. Supreme Court of India. B. High Court. C. President. Or D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. Supreme Court of India. Third, after independence, environment issues were not given much importance in India because all the efforts were made to resolve which of the following problems? A. Poverty B. Illiteracy C. Unemployment or D. All of the above The correct answer is D. All of the above Fourth, the NGT was established on which of the following date? A. 18th October 2010 B. 18th November 2010 C. 22 October 2010 or D. 22 November 2011 Correct answer is A. 18th October 2010 Fifth, the NGT was established under which of the following act? A. National Green Tribunal Act 2008 B. National Green Tribunal Act 2009 C. National Green Tribunal Act 2010 or D. National Green Tribunal Act 2011 Correct answer is C. National Green Tribunal Act 2010 Sixth, 
the NGT was established for which of the following purposes? A. For effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection. B. For conservation of forests. C. For conservation of natural resources. Or D. All of the above. Correct answer is D. All of the above. Seventh. Which of the following statement is true? Every court may be a tribunal, but every tribunal necessarily may not be a court. Second statement is, every tribunal may be a court, but every court necessarily may not be a tribunal. Your options are A. Only one B. Only two C. Both one and two D. None of the above the correct answer is A. Only one. Eighth, the National Green Tribunal shall consist of minimum and maximum of how many members? A. 5 or 10. B. 10, 20. C. 15 or 30. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. 10, 20. Ninth, the members of National Green Tribunal comprise of A. All retired judges of either High Court or Supreme Court B. All expert members on environmental issues C. Mix of judges and expert members on environmental issues D. None of the above The correct answer out of this is C. Mix of judges and expert members on environmental issues. 10. Every bench of NGT must consist of at least how many members? Option A. One expert member and one judicial member. B. Two expert and two judicial members. C. Three expert and three judicial members. Or D. None of the above. Correct answer is A. One expert member and one judicial member. 11th. What is the qualification required by the person to become a chairperson of NGT? A. He should have been a Supreme Court judge or Chief Justice of a High Court. B. He should have been a judge of the High Court. C. He should have been a judge in a session court. Or D. None of the above. The correct answer to this is A. He should have been a Supreme Court Judge or a Chief Justice of High Court. Twelfth, what is the experience to be qualified as an expert member of NGT in fields of environment and forest? A. 3 B. 4 C. 5 or D. 6 The correct answer is C. 5 Thirteenth, which place is chosen as Principal Bench of the National Green Tribunal A. New Delhi B. Bhopal C. Chandigarh or D. Pune The correct answer is A. New Delhi 14th Which of the following is the regional southern bench of NGT? A. Pune B. Bhopal C. Chennai or D. Kolkata The correct answer is C. Chennai Fifteenth, each regional bank of NGT has a specified geographical jurisdiction covering how many states in a region? A. 1 B. 2 C. Many or D. None of the above The correct answer is C. Many Sixteenth, which of the following is the official language of NGT? A. English B. Hindi C. Both of the above or D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. English. 17th. In the case where compensation is being claimed, the fee for filing an appeal before NGT will be A. 1% of the amount of compensation subject to a minimum of Rs. 1000 B. 
टू परसेंट ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्पनसेशन सब्जेक्ट टू अ मिनिमम ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्पनसेशन सब्जेक्ट टू अ मिनिमम ऑफ वन थाउजेंड और डी फोर परसेंट ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्पनसेशन सब्जेक्ट टू अ मिनिमम ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए वन परसेंट ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्पनसेशन सब्जेक्ट टू अ मिनिमम ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड एटींथ द पीरियड फॉर फाइलिंग अ सूट विद एन जी टी इज अप टू हाउ मेनी ईयर्स फ्रॉम द डेट ऑन विच द कॉज फॉर कॉम्पनसेशन अरोज ए थ्री ईयर्स बी फोर ईयर्स सी फाइव ईयर्स और डी सिक्स ईयर्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी फाइव ईयर्स नाइनटींथ The entity is guided by which of the following? A. Procedure laid down under the Code of Civil Procedure, nineteen hundred eight. B. Principles of natural justice. C. Rules of evidence in the Indian Evidence Act, eighteen seventy two. Or D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Principles of natural justice. Twentieth. Natural justice is identified by which of the following two constituents of a fair hearing? A. Rule against bias, that is, no man a judge in his own cause. B. Right to a fair hearing, that is, hear the other side. C. Both of the above. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Both of the above. Twenty one, the period for filing a suit with NGT is up to five years from the date on which the cause for compensation arose and can be extended further for how many days on sufficient grounds? A. Maximum for thirty days. B. Maximum for sixty days. C. Maximum for ninety days. Or D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Maximum of Sixty days. Twenty-two. The entity doesn't has power for implementation of laws which fall under which of the following categories? A. The Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, nineteen seventy-four. B. The Forest Conservation Act, nineteen eighty. C. The Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, nineteen eighty-one. Or D. Wildlife Protection Act 1972 The correct answer is D Wildlife Protection Act 1972 23rd The entity has power to hear all civil matters which are related to environment and implementation of laws which fall under how many categories A 6 B 7 C 8 or D 9 The correct answer is B Seven. Twenty fourth, the tribunal is mandated to make the endeavour for disposal of applications or appeals finally within how many months of filing of the same? A three, B six, C nine, or option D none of the above. The correct answer is B six. Twenty fifth, in case of any issue relating to Wildlife Protection Act, nineteen seventy two, one will approach the High Court of which state? A. Any state. B. In that state where the project located. C. New Delhi. Or D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. In that state where the project is located. Twenty sixth, if a project proponent or any authority does not comply with the directions contained in an ngt order the penalty can be imprisonment for how many years a 1 year b 2 years 3 3 years or d 4 years the correct answer is c 3 years 27th continued failure For not complying with the NGT order will attract fine of how many rupees per day? 
A. 5,000 B. 10,000 C. 20,000 or D. 25,000 The correct answer to this is D. 25,000 28. NGT order can be challenged before the Supreme Court within how many days? A. 30 days B. 60 days C. 90 days or D. 120 days the correct answer is 90 days. That is the C option. 29th. According to the NGT rules 2011, the tribunal shall hear the appeal consisting of at least how many members? A. One judicial member only. B. One expert member only. C. One judicial member and one expert member. D. Two judicial members and two expert members. The answer to this is option number C, one judicial member and one expert member. 30th, as per the December amendment of NGT rules 2011, how many minimum member bench can accept applications and begin the procedure to appraise a case? A. 1, B. 2, C. 3 or D. 4. The correct answer is A. 1. Thank you and happy learning.